Hello again everyone, Sokka here and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo and when we last left off we finished up the power struggle at the Myers Animal Entertainment Park and today we are starting brand new with the Myers Rainforest Conservation Project steeped in pollution. That sounds fun. As you can see we are now halfway through our career. Um, you know, there's a lot more, it feels like a lot more stars up here than down here, but eh, to each their own. There's something in the air at the site of the brand new Myers Rainforest Conservation Project, but it's not excitement and smells really bad. It's difficult enough building a zoo from the ground up, but in this case, you'll be starting from well below ground level in a disused quarry. And we can see the, the lines of, uh, you know, the, the, the digging routes, that's interesting. And as it's a new zoo, you can expect plenty of teething problems, but as Dominic might say, you're just the dummy to placate them. So, let's get in. Looks like we're starting from scratch. This might be interesting. One thing about it, it looks really picturesque. Just dug right into the hill. And it kind of looks like we have some facilities right Hello there in the bottom. There. Greetings from rainy Wales. So this is Wales, from huh? I've been reading in the paper. Or are you I in guess Wales? I was right about your boss, eh? Good on you for sticking it out with him, though. I'm not sure I would have had the self-control. Nah. Listen, I won't take up too much of your time, but you might be getting some interesting news soon. I've put in a word for you with a friend. Okay. Anyway, mustache, I think my dinner's burning. Well, don't do Keep that. Keep open. Sure. I mean, this Welcome use Jeeps. Welcome to your new zoo. Except it's not actually a zoo yet. It does look now, like a dump. before you start, you might want to clean up the site a bit. There's a teeny tiny chance that there are massive amounts of toxic waste here. Toxic waste, Even you say? A used quarry, the land was extremely cheap. Oh, and also extremely steep. Gotcha. So I suggest you build a gondola ride to get the customers around. I mean, I say suggest, but that's actually a direct order. So we have a also, gondola to build? the area next to the building site, I couldn't help but notice a lot of very poorly animals. I expect they must have gotten lost. Really, really lost. Especially the snow leopards. Snow leopards are here! How about I arrange for them to be rescued so you can make them healthy? I think that's the right thing to do. After all, normally I'd have to pay for new animals. Plus, so why about the cow and you can get the milk for free? Really impress the inspector who I just remembered is coming. Of course. All right, off you go. All right. So we've got toxic waste. All right, as barrels give off heat, the temperature heat map can be used to find them. Adopt and rescue four animals and 350 guests in the zoo. More attractive animals attract more guests for the bronze. We have a lot of alerts. We need vet surgery, trade center, keeper hut, staff room, quarantine workshop, and research center. So we literally have nothing. And what did this say? As the barrels get off heat, the temperature heat map can find them. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, I see ya. And it costs $1,200 to remove the toxic waste barrel. Okay. So as they give off heat. Yeah, that looks like another one there. Definitely going to... Do all of the removal first and foremost. That way that doesn't sneak up and get me. It's nice that they made the junk a separate group, like together. So you don't have to demolish it piece by piece. That would be a little bit tedious. All right, I think we are ready to start. So first and foremost, we need to get the bare haha, essentials going. And what I'm thinking of doing is we have the central location here coming down around. I think the staff area can be off to the side. And then we can maybe smooth it out and have maybe a staff entry along this back side and have our first sort of exhibit right here in the bottom, centrally located and sort of spider web out a bit from it. And then we could always use the terrain modification tools to uh, smooth that out. All right, so what we will do is we will put in some nice guest, guest pads and we'll do the hexagon.
That way we can sort of tell a little bit better what path it is, and we actually getting a dollar back every time we build that. All right, so building that nice and easy. Let's get the path down. All right, so we have rescue animals, but we need a trade center. So this is where we're going to break off with a staff path. And we'll sort of have a line of staff facilities right here. And I'm so happy we can modify the terrain and we can get these staff facilities nice and snug. Okay, so we can do something like that and then modify the terrain here and have it come down perhaps. But first and foremost, we need the trade center. So let's go ahead and get that up and running. So staff facilities, we need our trade center. And we'll just plop that right there. And then hopefully, this isn't too close to the people. If we go negative impact on gas, yeah, that's gonna be far enough away that no one is really going to mind. All right, so next up, of course, we need the keeper hut. We'll go ahead and place that right next door to it. Save as much space as we can. We need vet surgery in case one of these animals get hurt. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Oh, nice. And that sort of digs into the mountain. That, that works. All right. Research center I'm not going to worry about, but we do need a staff room for show. There we go. Nice and connected. I think we can also put some power right here as well. And we don't have access to the renewable energy. But yeah, if we put that power plant right there, we can then work on water purification. So looking at this water, all we need to do is make sure it encompasses this area. Which if we did something like this, that would work. We don't want to be editing on the group. All right, so let's get into our terrain modification while we smooth this out. Let's flatten to foundation. Get a little bit of a cliffside action going. And can we smooth this out? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it sort of doesn't like that. But can we still place our water purification? That will be uh, what I would like to do. Yeah, there we go. So water purification right there, and that is going to get these bodies of water. At least it should. All right, so that looks like bare minimum we need. We have our keeper hut, vet clinic, staff room, got water purification. Let's look at our trading center. So we've got two snow leopards and two okapi. All right, so looking at the snow leopards, they don't share with any other species. The two should be fine. We just have to worry about uh, getting them in a enclosure. And then the okapi, we'll take a look. Nope, deselect all please, fine. Okapis don't share space, one to two is fine. They need 11,600 feet of grade two fencing. That's another thing is our fencing is gonna be 
on the low level. So researching might be a thing in order to increase some of this happiness. But we do need to place down all four reward animals first. So eventually we're gonna to need to place them both. The snow leopard, grade two climb proof. Yeah, that's gonna be bad because the, we may be able to put in some glass. Yeah, we can do glass. Cause it only needed a grade two fence, is, is that right? So we can do straight glass, yeah. Grade two, climb proof, 10 feet, 7,500 feet squared. They don't need anything but some temperature adjustment. All right, so let's go ahead and get this planned out. We were using that one there. So what we'll do is we'll sort of bring this around this way. And then we'll have services, say right here. All right, let's go ahead and put up that grade two fence higher than 10 feet. Let's go, yeah, 14 feet. Oh, couldn't have done that better myself if I, if I tried. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how big this is gonna be. We'll have to get in a habitat gate to see, but I think the snow leopard should bring in a bit of a crowd. See, do we want it on the back side? That way we can sort of have a, a staff path coming in. That should be fine. So what do we got as far as space? So 13,200 feet. That should be enough for our snow leopards. All right, let's go ahead and get all of these out of here. Because I'm sure the snow leopards are not going to like that type of vegetation. All right, so can we do something cheeky and run this staff path around this backside maybe? Let's give it a try. To actually smooth this down, we'll push this down a bit. Do some pushing, do some smoothing. It doesn't cost that much money. And I think that would be really good for our keepers to basically come here and then use this path to get down. Is that too steep? Yeah, it looks to be. Yeah, terrain's too uneven. All right, so uh, what I'll do is I'll faff around with this for a little bit, get everything set up, and then get our snow leopards delivered. And uh, we can get some staff hired and get this zoo underway. So I will be right back. All right, path made. I believe we're ready to go. All we need to do is get in some staff. So we'll do a caretaker. Right there, we'll go ahead and hit play. We'll need a zookeeper, right there. We will need a mechanic, right there. We will need a security guard, right there. We'll need a, not a vendor, I think uh, our shops will come with vendors, and a veterinarian, right there. So now it is time to open up our animal trading center and get in our snow leopard. And then head to animal storage, select all send to zoo and put it right there and they are on their way. All right, so we got them from the trading menu. Now we just need quarantine workshop and research center. And that's if we are going to do some researching here, which we probably will. And yeah, that is a long way to go for sure. Disease is now life-threatening. Critical condition undiagnosed. 
Yeah, our poor vet is going to have to work some overtime. It probably would have been a good idea to get in some quarantine. So let's go staff facilities, a quarantine. And put that right there. There. Never too far away from a donation bin. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's go guest facilities. All right, we've got drink shop, food shop, information. The information shop will need power. We'll go ahead and put that right on this corner, let's say. Yeah, so that'll give some some room for uh, for a line. There we go. Now, hopefully that came with a vendor. Yes, indeed it did. All right, without further ado, let's get an ATM down. That's pretty, there we go. All right, now we need a gulpy drink shop. Let's put a drink shop, say right there. Let's put a merch shop right there. Let's put chief beef right there. All right, so all shops should now be open to biz for business. Everyone is coming this away. Oh, we need garbage cans. Garbage cans, garbage cans. All right, let's do Planet Zoo recycling bins. Right by the donation bins. And that should be fine. Yeah, let's remove that rock out of the way. Seven bucks. All right, there's security. I know we're low on cash, but hopefully people will start purchasing items. We don't have enough for the workshop. Disease is life-threatening. Yep, we've, we've got it. Yeah, we're not going to be claiming any animals from here on out. Come one, come all. Are you feeling thirsty? Are you hungry? Yeah, you're really thirsty. You showed up thirsty. And they like the ticket prices for now. And that is an influx of people. 244. Hopefully people, yeah, stop by our information center. Pick up a, uh, pick up an umbrella. Pick up a donation package. All right, once we get some money back in the bank, we will get that research center. Oh, 1300 bucks. Yeah, we'll take it. So we'll do the research center. And then in the meantime, can we hire a second vet? We'll hire a second vet and then get some research going. So vet research. We want Moises on the snow leopard. Let's make that snow leopard really, really happy. We'll take as good a care of the snow leopard as we can. In the first branch of that should be, yeah, we get some food enrichment and we get some actual enrichment. So we get two toys. Yeah, that's gonna be nice, getting that first level of snow leopard, taking it nice and easy if we can. Vet is on the way, ready to grab yeah, getting our other snow leopard out of here. Go ahead and donate to the cause, everyone. We've got a good snow leopard enclosure. Yeah, Ochimeg. Yeah, we got Ochimeg out of there. The other uh, vet should be researching. And we are not claiming our rewards just yet. Did you all... G okay, you got burgers. I thought you got, like, oranges or something. I'm like, how did you get oranges from Chief Beef? Yeah, now we're starting to get some positive income back. A lot of people come to the zoo thirsty. That is incredible. I don't know if we should go ahead and double dip and get a second gulpy. Lines look manageable, except for that gulpy. Yeah, if everyone's going to show up to the zoo thirsty, it's probably bad to sort... Oh, we need a toilet block. 
Yes, we do. Yes, we do. All right, sweet. So now the toilet is in. We've got 900 bucks. Yeah, I completely forgot about the toilets. Don't want to make a habit of that for sure. All right, now we don't have enough money for our second uh, gulpy. But one thing about it, people should be spending like crazy here. So appeal is at 55%. We can possibly do something to increase that appeal with some trees, some foliage, something like that. Joshi is on low welfare. Why? Because of your stress. Habitat's going up. There we go. So low stress, good temperature. So now all we're waiting on is enrichment items for our uh, snow leopard. Hopefully our veterinarian will be back soon. And hopefully our other veterinarian is uh, working hard. All right, so we need a workshop. And yeah, Gulpy looks like it is the place to be. Let's go ahead and put down another Gulpy next door. Sort of split that line up a bit. And a lot of people are wanting merchandise now as well. Another Looney Balloons, perhaps? Yeah, already people are skipping the line and going right to the Gulpy. Ooh, 300 bucks. So we're living on a prayer as of now, but guests are happy. Trying to get that education bonus. We're satisfying that hunger and thirst. The inspector's arriving in seven months. So basically, if our veterinarian can do some research in the next seven months, so we can put in some enrichment items, then the uh, inspection will be like a three or four star rated inspection. And we will actually pass that. We'll already have our gold standard done. All right, so working on the zoo, perhaps in the next episode we can smooth out this land here and continue this on um, and put in our Okami, Okapi, Okapi. Yeah, we need to put in our Okapi to finish up the bronze. But I think once we do, we'll be, many think they're overpriced. How about five, not 50. How about $5 and $5? We will satiate your needs. So three was too little, five, six was too much. And just sort of doing what we can. I think we can make it look nice with some lighting. Benches and security. Yeah, some benches would be nice. People wanted to take a load off. as they work their way around. We also need $150 for a security camera. I tell you what, that is the best, cheapest camera I've ever seen. So we'll put in some PTZs along the road. Hey, that research is done, nice. So that's the first level of Snow Leopard. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get our enrichment items in here for our snow leopard. All right, so they have no food enrichment and they have no toy enrichment. Let's get that rubbing pad in there. And that's already going to increase it by, I mean, nearly there. We just need food enrichment now, which the next level of enrichment should be good. So overall, now the snow leopards are feeling pretty good, and I think that is a, a good stopping place. Money is on the uptick. Let's take a look at our finances. We don't have a loan. And yeah, money's going in. Average year, $4,000, and uh, we're not really buying a whole lot of extra stuff anymore. Hopefully people are getting their education. Education at 14%. So audio guides and I'll tell you what, let's make the audio guides really low. 250, let's go a dollar for the audio guide to help their education. 
And let's put in, if we can, do we have an information board? Where are those? Yeah, conservation board. So we can start putting these every so often. And have people do some reading. And that will keep them in the zoo longer. Get their education up. And can't be mad at that. The bee population decline. They will come on over here next to the bench. Next up on the list is the deforestation. And we'll finish up over here with our ecotourism. All right, so that's going to be an opportunity for people to read, get some education going. We may need another caretaker. I mean, this, uh, this recycle bin is overflowing. Let's go ahead and take a look at the load. So, yeah, vendor load is high, vet load is high. We'll hire one more vet. Yeah, efficient, efficient. Mechanic has a low, security has a low. And we might need, let's say, two more vendors. That way they can trade off uh, with some of the vendors there and let them sort of figure their life out. Yeah, high amounts of litter. It does feel like we need another caretaker, but there we go. Vet, the vendor is ready to swap. And now we've got some people to cover down. Yeah, and that's even more profit. All right, so we will work on the workshop because we need the gondola ride. And I don't think we know the gondola ride. If we look at our facilities and we look at transport, no, we do know. There's the suspended gondola, 180. Yeah, we need to sort of plan out where we want that gondola to go. It may be here. And we might loop it around here, make this sort of like the hub. But that's something we can look at in the future. So, so far, so good. 230 guests in the zoo. Uh, that will go up once we get the Okapi in. So, in the next episode, we should be getting our bronze medal. All right, how is everything? Everything except education. Refreshing drinks. I mean, everything is good. Toilet energy. Thirst. The education is what's struggling. I, I reduced the cost of the audio guide in the information center. We added some information boards and we've got the education speakers here. Let's actually look at our education rating. Zoo overview. Is it guess? Yeah, everyone is on the struggle bus for education. All right, 21% from education boards, none from conservation boards. 59% from the educational speaker. We got 21% from our audio guides. Yeah, maybe a vet doing educational research would be good. Yeah, I, th I think vets would go a long way. And how much space is in our research center? Just one? Yeah, it's just the small research center. Yeah, we might have to get another research center up so we can get a second vet doing some research on uh, more education items. Win. Oh, nice. Vet research is done for the snow leopard. That's level two. So 50% education bonus. That's going to be nice. We got a fun fact and we've got two new toys. We get our food enrichment this time around. So what we'll do is we will, to finish up the episode, add one more toy enrichment to complete the toy enrichment need. Cardboard box. Because what cat doesn't like playing with a cardboard box? And that is toy enrichment, or yeah, species toy enrichment done. We just need our food enrichment now. And the educational speakers will be pumping out a whole lot more info about the snow leopard now that we've got it a little bit researched. So still need to work on 
another research workshop. We'll send the second vet to do that. We'll get some of this land hollowed out. And we'll start on the Okapi in the next episode. But that will do it for me, everyone. Um, nice starting episode. We've got our feet under us. And uh, everything is feeling okay so far. So like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we will see you for episode two of this uh, particular zoo. Take care.